Hi everybody. Today is the day that I'm going to be taking you with me to physical therapy and going through a session and showing you what it's like for me on the days that I go to physical therapy. And it's been so enormously helpful for me. I kind of thought that maybe it would be helpful for somebody else who was going through it, has a family member or a friend who is going through it or will need it any time in the future. You'll see a little bit like what it's about for me. Obviously, depending upon what the injury or the the area to be worked on is going to make a huge difference in terms of what you need to do. But this is the way it's going to be for me. So I'm just getting ready now to go. I'm getting a little bit excited about it. All I've done so far is I have taken my shower. I washed my hair and blew it dry. Really wanted to wear one of my wonderful wigs today, but since my hair came out okay, I'm going to leave that for another day because I'm also going to want to be asking you which of the wigs that I have currently do you like the best on me at this point in time. So you'll tell me as I reveal them to you once again, one at a time. So I'm going to come in really close. I've done zero so far. No moisturizer, no treatments, nothing. Just washed my face and I'm about to get started. So I'll catch up with you when I'm ready to go. You certainly don't need another get ready with me in addition to the um, physical therapy part of what I'm going through. So I will see you as soon as I'm done. Okay, I'm about to get in the car. I'm gonna gather all my stuff and I'm on my way to the physical therapy office. I will see you there. Okay, well, I'm here in the office of physical therapy and I'm getting ready for my session. So we should be joining you very, very soon. I will see you in a minute. Bye. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to be starting soon. I'm just waiting for Graham to come in or for Sean to come in and get started with me. And I'm going to take you through the session so you'll see exactly what it is that I do. And uh, we can see together what's been helping me so much. See you in a little bit. For some reason, the first series of exercises never got recorded. The next series of exercises is to work on my ankle. Sean is absolutely wonderful to work with also. He's very, very patient and he really helps me. In all, there are eight exercises that I do on the table and they are all designed to strengthen the muscles in my right leg. I do a quads exercise. I do the exercise with the same um, thing that he's using for resistance. It's tied around my knees and I have to pull my legs apart. That was one of the ones that was in the first segment that didn't record properly. And there are several other exercises that I do Again, just designed to strengthen the leg. Stephen's mom is 89. He lost his dad two years ago at 90. Stephen's mom turned 89. 
I so value the time that I come here and all of these things that I do because it really, really helps. It's very interesting because watching it as you're watching it and my seeing it as an observer is really helpful to me because I can see what I'm doing right and what really needs work. So this is a good thing. I did it for you, but it's a good thing for me as well. Son of a gun. What I'm doing now is a quad set. And what it does, it gets me to pull my knees down toward the table so that I'm contracting all the muscles. And again, it's in, all in an effort to strengthen them. This is something that I've been doing since I got home from the hospital. It really is helpful. So that one, yeah, I mean, that's what we would give to um, or recommend for athletes when they go to play their game, mm -hmm. so to speak, but throughout their day, mm -hmm. you know, the recovery they wouldn't work with, yeah. okay. so they could have the turf, one. something like that, yeah. just to prevent um, from the yeah. accidental rollover. And the bridges. I know, the bridges, yeah, so I need all to go back. Flat? Not all the way flat? Just, yeah, we'll sure. just got one in the back. Okay. We have one more on the table. And it's definitely going to where it was last week. That's not okay. That not that where I was was terrific. The bridges that I'm working on now, this is an exercise where in lifting my body off the table, once again, it's just to build all the muscles to allow me to do it. And I'm able to do that now with relative ease. So again, I'm grateful for every step forward that I take. At this point, I'm finished with my eight exercises that I do on the table, and I'm just waiting for Sean to come over or for Graham to come over to start working on my leg. This next part of it is really, really helpful in the long term. Now I'm just and waiting for him, right? Yep. You know you have well, that to that stop nerve. I said, yeah. I was We're just waiting for the next series, so hang in. Start would be a good thing. <laughs> okay. okay. And I'd like to introduce you to Sorry, Graham. So you're going to have to, you're gonna have to oh, write down there, Graham Webb. He's wonderful. Are you okay with my putting your information in all the video? And I'm going to put all this information below the video for anybody who's in the area who needs help. He's great. Okay. Look, I can get up myself. Look, Mama. Look, Mom. <laughs> no hands. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I need to come up a little bit. Usually, yeah. Just let me know when to okay. start. Now, now is the good part. This is the part where it really helps while it hurts. Right. The helping and hurting. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yep, so far. Nah. Oh. To record all your pain. Right. Oh, yeah, that's fine. They say it has to hurt to help. 
<laughs> are, they, are they right? The Marines have a saying, pain is weakness leaving the body. Wow. Okay. I'm not sure if I subscribe <laughs> to all of it, but to break up the uh, scar tissue. There's I wonder what is bothering me more today. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It plays a role in all of it. Yeah. It's interesting. As I see myself from this vantage point, which clearly is not one I have typically, if you take a look at my body just above my legs, don't I remind you of Humpty Dumpty? That's the area that is swollen after the surgery. Son of a gun, that is not a pretty sight. This has made such a difference, though, having that mobility because you're stretching the stretching the tissue. Yeah. Do you feel not so much? Yes, oh yeah. Well much less than before. But yeah. Then get up towards the scar tissue areas. So don't it have to continue this until they're not there anymore? Um ideally there's a level beyond which you won't feel it during regular activities. So not sure if 100% of the scar tissue goes away or not. It's kind of a natural product of injury and surgery. But we'll do what we can. Ah, uh, Demetra said to say hello to you. No. The longer I watch okay this and the more I get to see that area just above my legs, yeah. I'm starting to feel as if somebody turned my hindquarters around, and that's what now is in the front. Does that not look like a big butt just above my thighs? I don't know. It's okay. Yeah. That's probably a big percentage of what goes on just in a regular PT visit in general. is encouragement keep going, keep trying, keep working. when she was talking before I got being afraid to fall. I think that's one of my things. I'm so afraid to step off the curb at this point. Yeah. I think not twice, four times yeah. before I take that step off the curb. Yeah, just to prepare. Yeah. But that's what you need to do to sort of protect yourself. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's fine. So in the past, this whole area used to feel like this. Yeah. That tight, restrictive. Yeah, and it doesn't now? No, this part feels normal. Ostensibly normal. So can we do more with this as well or no? Yeah, we kind of work the layers through. Yeah. There's a greater percentage of the trauma is over on this end. Right. So, so does it matter here then that I need me? <laughs> They get some of it, for sure. Um, increasingly, they are encouraging healthcare practitioners to engage the person, the actual patient, um, in more of their responsibility, whether it be more financial responsibility or more actual physical responsibility, which I agree with in certain aspects where you have all the exercise plan and that. But there's certain components that you just can't do it yourself. Right. Get to the stretching, you can't do all of that stretching on your own. You can do some of it, but so it's kind of a sore topic for certain folks with, with certain problems. You know, and it's not just a Medicare issue either, it's an insurance issue. Most insurers um, are only willing, so to speak, to invest so much in a patient. That's not fair. No. We invest a lot in them before we need it. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, you, you, especially a system like Medicare, you've been paying into it right. your whole life. Right. Every paycheck. So it almost seems somewhat fair that um, you should be able to get the care that you need. Right. For the most part, I have to say, for the most part, it does a pretty darn good job. Except the last year, right after my surgery, was when they did all the cutbacks. 
Okay. While I was in rehab, as they were treating me, they kept telling me they kept having meetings because Medicare was oh, now changing. not to, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Well, whenever Congress bickers and can't come up with a solution for something, everything goes on to an austerity mode. So. This is absolutely wonderful. It hurts and it's not fun, but it's <laughs> but it's wonderful. <laughs> but it's wonderful because it really makes a difference. It feels good. Actually, I think that I've made a uh, decision okay. that henceforth I'm going to film all of my videos from this position because you can sit down with your favorite drink and get yourself a bowl full of popcorn and have a good laugh as you get to see my stunning body in all its glory. It's not normal. It's the red one. Hard to say because of what was injured. You know, yeah. typically the nerve, um, the nerve-related recovery, uh, doesn't come back fully normal. It comes back almost normal. I have to tell you, when I got in the tub this morning, what, wait till this. Is done? When I got no, out of the tub this morning, yeah. I was actually oh, able leg. to lift my leg to get out of the tub without having to lift it and put it on the edge oh, of the tub right. and then put it over so that's what I'm going to all of this yeah. muscle. So that Stairs, was, lifting it out of the tub. Yeah. I was a little afraid that I might fall, so I was holding up to the... In and out of the car. Oh, George. Yeah. Well, that's good. There's your own self-encouragement. Look <laughs> what I can do. Look <laughs> wrong with my Exactly. And I want to say that sometimes too. It's like, yeah, it feels, it feels good. Any little bit that works, yeah, feels good. Finding, well, mean, being tuned in on what you solve, what you achieve is important. You yeah. Yep. Yeah. If you don't um, sort of continually remind yourself to pat yourself on the back for the hardest tough, gets gets tough. Yeah. It's a long process. Twenty fit. Come so far, so. Right. And push yeah, down. definitely feels. Any Mother's Day plans? Are there? Nope. My son is in California. Okay. And I'm hoping he calls me. <laughs> oh, call and that's about it. I have no. I hate holidays. I really do. <laughs> when you are alone, it's the time that you kind of feel it the most. Sure, that's when you notice it the most. Exactly. You know? I'm sort of out of sync with the world. Uh, especially in this whole yeah. recovery, probably Five insult to injury. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What um, okay. And then the sides will go this he way. He lives in LA. Yeah. He actually, uh, right now, they're living in uh, a community where OJ. Is that too tech? Oh. <laughs> it's a nice community, though. It's a very nice community. If I remember correctly, yes. the houses were big, yes. beautiful homes. Yes. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a nice condo. We'll probably be moving soon, though. Within California? Oh, yeah. Yeah, close. Because they have a business there. Okay. You know, so. Taking the hint that I'd like to move in with it. <laughs> Here or there. there. You know, although uh, California makes the news a lot with wildfires and right. earthquakes and whatever, right. they have some pretty consistently good weather. That's the whole thing. Year round. Yeah, David said to me, the weather is just never a factor. Yeah. You know, when it rains, it, it's like a big deal. You wonder what people talk about. <laughs> oh, what a good weather. Maybe the 
earthquakes and fires and the mudslides. No, but those don't happen very often. I no, thank God. Once a week. <laughs> you know, a couple of big weather changes usually. This is the place at which he starts to turn my leg into a pretzel. He is doing it lovingly. He is doing it carefully, but it feels like torture. It really does. Anything to loosen up that whole muscular structure, and it really has to be done, but I have to tell you, this part hurts. And I'm going the outside too. Up here. Is that normal? Yeah. You don't mind if I give a little assistance. I don't mind at all. It's all the help we can get, right? Uh-huh. Oh. I don't give a call to start it. I'm going to get it beyond here. Really? Yeah, so it's good. Maybe I can cross my knee at some point. <laughs> Pick a gold in your thing. Still doing those fallouts? Yes. The fallouts hurt. They should, because it's stretching. Oh, yeah. It's a and now it looks as if he's trying to unscrew my leg. I feel a little bit like a mannequin, and he's trying to take the leg off. <laughs> Certainly looks that way to me. What do you think? They actually want me to do a t-shirt that says son of a gun, because I say it all the time. Oh, that's good. Why not? Again, it makes me feel like I'm on a table with a you know, Dracula or that Dracula. You're on the rack. Yeah, I'm on the rack. Are those my joints I hear creaking? Hmm. Now I'm the wishbone. What <laughs> would you wish for, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Warn me what they are. Yeah. Running down the stairs. Yeah, right. Previously, there was never any evidence, though. No, there was not. <laughs> now there's evidence. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Jim. It really pulls in here. You're welcome, Robin. Take care. Happy Mother's Day. 
Thanks, don't don't forget your pain, please. I'm not, I'm not leaving yet. I can't oh, get okay. off without help. Oh, okay. Sean's going to get me my shoes and stuff. <coughs> Um, yeah, all that stuff will yeah, be sure. great help. Okay. Let's do this one first. Mm. Maybe a good thing that I couldn't get in here until next Wednesday. Oh, thank you. You're going to talk. Are you okay? I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm still looking and breathing. Um, sure I'm be too much trouble for you. Do you want to go do the balance yeah, part now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we are about to start the next segment, so I'll see yep. you soon. Okay, the next part of this is where uh, Graham does the balance exercises with me. I do some other exercises here, and then I do the step, and then I'm finished for the day. that I do here and he does the balance with me. So I'll start the exercises that I do until he gets here. One, always 20. I always do a series of 20. I'm going up on my toes at this point. Six, seven. I think I look pretty good with my head cut off. What say you? Yeah, I think it might actually might be my best shot. Son of a gun.
hurts. It's one, two. The weather is also bad. Great. I'm almost done. What if I go like this? I, I can't do that. I, do, I tried to do that. I oh, it might not fit. I don't think it works. I tried. Oh. If you can figure out how it's going to work. I, I'm not sure that I can, but I can do this. I think that's as far. It's, it's not the best tripod. It works, though. Oh, yeah, maybe it goes back a little bit. How's that? Good. Good? Good. <laughs> there. Okay. Okay. This is the balance. This is what pushes me around. <laughs> the next series that we're going to do is for balance. This is where I'm standing on a mat that is, I don't know, maybe a couple of inches thick. And it's foam, so it's not a solid ground beneath my feet. We will show it to you later. But it makes me a little bit rocky to begin with. And this is just to test how stable I am. And uh, this is something he works with me on every time I go.
When Graham has me close my eyes and he continues with the balance exercises, the premise is that one of the things that we most rely on for our balance is our sight. So when you have your eyes closed, you no longer have that to use and he's testing my balance that way. standing on. Now I'm standing on this mat which makes it a little bit harder for me because it's, it, you know, it's sort of bouncy. So I know that's a great technical term. <laughs> <laughs> bouncy is, <laughs> it's technical in our terms. <laughs> The step exercise is really helpful for me on a very practical level. When I first started doing it a few weeks ago, I was only using the top part, the aqua, and that is four inches. A typical step is eight to nine inches, and he now has the second part on it, which makes it six inches. So it's four plus two, and that is three quarters of a normal step. So I'm getting closer to being able to raise the bad leg up. It's not easy. It really is not easy, and especially today, because I did so. He did so much with my leg, and it really, really tired it. It's okay if we lower it down. Yep. 
Yeah, just worked very hard to keep that left heel down. Yeah. Oh. That's not easy. <laughs> no, it's not. Should I try to do ten of them this way? Or did try ten, and then we can switch to the more difficult okay. one. Or the easier one, I should say. Easier one, yes. Okay. Oh. Six. Nothing like grunting and groaning your way through it. I'm going to say it's because you worked me so hard today. I take all the blame. It's hard. Okay. okay. Seven. I'm doing better than I did, though. Yes. Because this is a step up from uh, from the first level. Right. Part of the fun. When I come yeah. back, will I be able to do this as well? Yeah. Absolutely. switch to the lower one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the lower one makes it so much easier for me because I can actually do this. Oh, I was lifting my leg much too high because... <laughs> Higher than you needed to, but that's easy now. Yeah, this is easy. Yeah, this is easy. It's Definitely hard. keep your left heel down with that one. That's how you did fine. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Great. Okay. I'm going to have to really think about that more. Four. Oops. It lifted it a little bit. A little bit. That time I didn't. It's amazing the things we take for granted in everyday life. Really amazing. No, no, it won't injure you. It might be uncomfortable, but try it. I have you doing some kind of a bicycle in rehab. It's probably a stepper. Thank <laughs> you. 
I can write a bike that's going nowhere. Let's go pass it first. The bike was a real challenge for this first time that I'm doing it. But I started to get my stride a little bit by the time that I finished, and it made me feel so good to be doing it. Just barely have enough. Yeah, I have to give it that extra little kick most of the time. Although I did do that. Yeah, and it's not feeling such a terrible pulling on the inside. No. That's good. Well, the faster, the more the easier, I think, because I don't need fast. Because the momentum but, keeps right. it going over, yes. For today, as long as you can do it. Okay, yeah, yeah I can do it. You know where I feel it? I feel it down in here. Is that normal? Yeah. You feel it in the knee, the back of the knee, the yeah. calf muscle, sometimes the hip, sometimes the Achilles, if you have never done this prior. Look at me. Ride the bike. Oh, well. No, it's a good thing. Am I eating into your lunch? Nope. I had lunch. Oh, okay. This feels good. Does that feel great? Yeah, except I'm sure when I'm finished, I'm not going to be, I'll be crippled. Why? Well, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I feel it really on the inside of my knee. Is that it? Just because it hasn't been done. And do you think maybe it makes it like the time a little bit too? Absolutely. You mean more of what? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I watch all the other people do it and they make it look so easy. But it was hard for them the first time too. So, folks, you have seen the actual thing. This is what we do, Graham. <laughs> this is what we do twice a week, every week. 
Take care, everybody. Oh, I will you. see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed going through this physical therapy session with me. I hope it wasn't too boring. And I'll see you very soon again for the next episode of Life According to Jerry. Take care, everybody.